Hello, Star Family. May the messages within these readings reach you when you need to hear them. May the universe give you synchronicity as confirmation. Brightest blessings to all watchers. <laughs> Alia urne vieshem Isiren alevem Awarni Okay, Pisces, that was your pre-shuffle. We had one card that fell out for you. Your pre-shuffles to just get energy flowing for you. But first, before we grab any more tarot cards, we're going to start with this fortune deck. This is going to act as like the theme of your monthly message from now at upload time, whenever you choose to watch, whether it's a year from now, five years from now, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what the theme of this monthly message is for you. Wow, okay. Flowers, be generous, success, and emotional fulfillment are yours, Pisces. Okay, now let's get two other cards here for you. And then we'll flip them all over. Okay, we have the full. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Let's see what else we have, okay? And the Ace of Swords, this is gorgeous. Uh, let's see what the first card was. Wow, okay. So this is incredible because Pisces, this is saying that you've recently had a breakthrough or overcome something. The breakthrough is coming from this Ace of Swords energy, right? And the overcoming is coming from the death energy. This is Scorpio, so that could be somewhere in your chart. Um, or maybe somebody in your surrounding. Either way, it's the energy that you're taking on. So you've had a breakthrough recently, Pisces, after something that has maybe come to a close. It's like a major transformation for you. This is also a card of transmutation. So this is your kind of like metamorphosis, all right, Pisces? That's what this is saying here. And there's been a breakthrough as a result of this change and transformation that you maybe even evoked yourself, okay? Sometimes the universe will throw change at us, but there's other times when we enact the change for ourselves because it's necessary. We need we need a switch up, okay? We need uh, things to kind of like turn themselves around. And there's oftentimes we take the initiative to evoke the change. If the universe doesn't do it for us, then we go ahead and do it for ourselves. So I am kind of getting the vibe that maybe it is that kind of situation where this was much needed change to help you go on a brand new adventure or journey. We, you know, go from this ending to then a new beginning. I mean, how many times have you heard me say, you know, with endings come new beginnings? You know, it's just a phrase. And that's exactly, we're seeing that represented here. That exact same phrase is being represented in these two cards okay with endings comes new beginnings the fool is new beginnings the death is an ending so this is this is you ready to take that leap of faith jump into the new okay embrace what's awaiting you a lot of times um you know when things come to a close we fear change we worry that you know we don't know what lies ahead we are concerned sometimes with oh boy you know uh what am i getting myself into kind of thing but with the fool He's the energy where, you know, he doesn't he doesn't carry the weight of anything on his back necessarily. He has a small little parcel or satchel that he carries around like, you know, here his his bucket is empty, right, in this depiction. His bucket is empty, so he's traveling lightly, okay? So it's literally you shedding the old that would weigh you down in order to pursue the new, okay? Because you can't pursue the new if you're weighed down by the burdens of the past, right? So this isn't a matter of like laying that down, 
right? Traveling lightly into the new and being brave while doing it. Because again, you don't, you're not certain about what lies ahead. Uh, there might be a little bit of here and there of, oh boy, what did I get myself into? But nonetheless, you know, the, the bravery of the fool is taking that step forward, not knowing, okay? And sometimes you have to take a risk on yourself. The fool energy is that risk. Sometimes you have to take a leap of faith. Sometimes you have to jump and wait for the net to appear, okay? And I think now that this... Um, it's, okay, this depiction here is like saying you've seen the light, okay? The light at the end of the tunnel, literally. And here is that light at the end of the tunnel, okay, with the fool. The fool sometimes is depicted with the sun at his back, okay? So again, high vibe energy kind of like lighting the way for you, guiding you, um, giving you that warm, fuzzy feeling so that way the excitement of this new journey, okay, is forever present so that way you can continually continue to step forward one foot in front of the other on this new journey on this new adventure through this new chapter and this open door that the universe is kind of like putting in front of you you know what i mean so i i look at this like this is your moment this is your breakthrough two cards of brand new energy okay the ace of swords is having that clarity of mind it's having your epiphany moment and being able to like see things for what they are, what they aren't. And then, you know, being clear of mind to the point where nothing's gonna like cloud your judgment anymore, okay? So I'm looking at the Ace of Swords, like you see clearly now. You're free of any confusion of the past, any worries that you might've carried around with you. And that's why this flower is saying, hey, be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours now. Yes, after whatever it was that you've shut down, put away, let go of. You know, when the death card comes in, it could be the ending of anything. A mindset, a bad habit, um, a situation with a person or a dynamic or an environment you weren't happy with. These are changes that sometimes, like I said, I feel like in this case, you made this change for yourself. You've had your oh, wake up or your aha moment, which gave you that initiative to move forward um, and take this, take this on with the fool, right? So we go through those moments, enlightening moments, I feel. And they bring this clarity of mind. They help us to see what we need to see in order to move ahead confidently. That confidence is coming from the fool. He's optimistic. He's happy-go-lucky. He's ready to take it on. He's not scared. He's not carrying around the baggage of the past. There's no room for it in his bucket. Right? There's no room for it in his bucket. So emotional success yeah, emotional fulfillment, success are yours now as a result of you letting this go, putting it behind you once and for all, starting a new chapter with the fool. And you're able to, to have this awareness now with the Ace of Swords, okay, moving forward. So there is clarity of mind. You may not know exactly what lies ahead, you know, in the distant future, let's say. But you know what you need and what you want right now. And that's the kind of energy of the fool with the ace of swords, right? You know what you need and what you want right now. And the decision I feel is made. The awareness of um, the bigger picture I'm hearing is, is already clear to you. Okay, like you have an awareness about the bigger picture and that is what's clear to you. That's what's actually helping you to continue to take the steps forward that are necessary. But now that you've let this go, this is what's opening up to you. All this clarity of mind, the successful outcomes and the you know emotional fulfillment that you were seeking that maybe you didn't have here in this situation with the death card, whatever that was. Like I said, it could have been an ending of a, a job situation. Um, a bad habit, a love, a friendship, you know, anything that needed to come to a close or shift in some way or change. You know, it's not always a literal like ending or breakup or something like that. But sometimes it's just a literal change that, that is necessary in order to move you along to the next part of your journey. Okay. Um, so I'm looking at that's what's opened up to you now because the Ace of Swords or any Ace really feels like an open door. Like the universe giving you the key and you being able to turn it and walk through. 
Okay, so that's what I'm getting from this. So let's take a look. I'm curious to see what the death energy is all about. We know that good things are coming with these three cards, but I'm curious about what it is that maybe you're leaving behind. Pisces, let's see. Woo, what was that? Okay, so that looks like, is that a nine of pentacles? Let me grab one more. Okay, I just, I'm getting the vibe that <laughs> you're seeking your independence now because this is that Nine of Pentacles is the independence, right? It is feeling like you can take care of things on your own. You don't really need anybody to, you know, give you that leg up. You got this, right? And that's just more confirmation of how confident and secure you are after this change and transformation, Okay, you're sit you're sitting pretty here. You're basking in the in the blessings that are about to like arrive. You're feeling good and confident and secure. But I want more information on that. I think that's your mood after this change and ending of something. That's your mood. Um it's also the vibe of like I could do fine all by myself, right? I I don't I don't need you i don't need this situation anymore i don't need that you know it's kind of like standing up for yourself too i feel with the nine of pentacles standing in your own after whatever came to a close or shifted or changed for you okay wow that's the seven of swords that's the Seven of Swords. So that makes complete sense because with the Seven of Swords, if there was somebody or something that was kind of like not, not doing right by you is what I'm hearing from the Seven of Swords. You would choose to leave that behind, maybe go it alone with the Nine of Pentacles and seek your own independence and put it to a close, right? The Seven of Swords is a card of like sometimes uh, treachery, treacherous behavior. Maybe somebody was lying to you or wasn't being completely thorough with you, not giving you a full disclosure, sometimes hiding from things, um, hiding things from you, I'm sorry, hiding from you possibly. But the Seven of Swords is that energy where sometimes you can't really trust it. Right, So maybe if this was somebody or some situation in your life that you felt you couldn't trust anymore, it was probably you leaving it behind and seeking your independ independence away from it. And at the same time, I could look at this because Seven, seven of Swords sometimes talks about strategy. Um, so I'm also looking at this like you seeking your independence, standing on your own two feet and strategizing, okay, the future. Okay, strategizing the future. This could also be you sneaking away, leaving something behind as well. Not, you know, I'm going to I'm going to walk out of this before I'm noticed, right? I'm going to slip away. Um, but the seven of swords if it's about you, you know, using your strategy, your clever energy as this card sometimes depicts, um this is what it's saying to me is you using your mental energy to strategize a plan to move forward I'm, I'm feeling like you're with this especially with the ace of swords this is you strategizing a plan and putting a lot of mental activity into what it is that you want to do moving forward after you leave this behind okay but there's something about you coming into your own all right being very clever being very smart about your action about your movements after this thing after you leave it behind um being clever about the way that you move forward right you're being i feel like this is you just being really smart because the ace or i'm sorry not the ace the swords in general talk about intelligence as well so i'm looking at this like you're being really smart you're being really strategic you're mapping out a plan and you're going to move forward with it nobody's going to be able to pull this seven of swords energy on you again after this i feel like you're so much smarter you see things properly now with that ace of swords um there's nothing that's going to get by you after this um and that in itself is a plus okay like i said having that awareness having that mental astuteness being able to, to see things and people and situations clearly for what they are, for what they aren't. And then that awareness is going to help you be so much more, um, I'm feeling like, careful 
in your dealings with people moving forward or in your dealings in just everyday life, okay? So continue to be brave, continue to walk into the future because it looks like you're going to be completely fine and secure. That nine of pentacles is giving me that feeling of stability and comfort, okay? So let's take a look at, um, and again, don't forget, success, it says, and emotional fulfillment are yours. And I'm also feeling like from the flower that this is your uh, blossoming, okay, your emergence in some way. And we also see that kind of depicted here, like you're, you're emerging, you know what I mean? You're walking through into the light now. You see clearly, we see that with the Ace of Swords as well. So let's take a look at one of these final oracles, Pisces. Let's see what we have for you. This is beautiful. And then I'm going to grab, um, I'm going to roll for some angel numbers as well, okay? Oh, what the heck? <laughs> this is really cool. So um, I was just mentioning the flower and you got blossoming. You are just getting started. So have patience with yourself and the process and don't give up. Again, stay with that idea that, you know, you, you're confident, you got this. Um, you have the mental clarity and intelligence to pursue this thing moving forward. You're going to be fine. And for whatever reason, this is kind of like speaking to me like would be a machete. I don't know if you know what I'm, I guess a mach machete, right? When you're walking through the woods or the brush, um, you know, you can take a mach mach machete. That's how I say it. Machete. And you can literally like, you know, hack your way through like dense brush and debris like in the woods. Um, and that's kind of like what I feel like you're doing with your life. You're clearing the way with this Ace of Swords, the same way you would walk through a, a dense forest and there's a lot of brush everywhere. You would clear the path for yourself. And I think that's what you're doing here. And the Fool, if there's a clear path, obviously he's going to walk through it, right? All right, let's get a feather oracle card for you okay i'm gonna pull from the middle because you know I'm, i don't want to i don't really know the deck fully i just got it not too long ago but i don't want to know what i'm picking okay so let's go with the middle oh okay pheasant the time is ripe for creation and connection Focus your attention in these areas. Yeah, it's time to create the future moving forward is what I'm getting from that. And that's a beautiful feather. Okay, so Pisces, this is your reading. I'm going to leave you here. If you feel it connects, you know what to do. Um, oh, wait, you know what? Why do I always forget this? I need to, like a big sign in, you know, in front of me to say, hey, Erica, don't forget your angel numbers. <laughs> so anyway, here they go. Five. Six. And seven, whoa, that's progression, five, six, seven. So you're making progress. Okay, five, six, seven is your angel number. Please go look that up. Uh, Google it, you'll find you know many interpretations of what that combination of numbers means. That might give you additional uh, insight in regards to this message. Again, if you feel connects, you know what to do. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. And uh, to support this channel, like, share, subscribe, click that bell for notification because I do upload often. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, all my information is in the description box down below. It's a simple matter of going and visiting my Etsy shop and you could book a reading with me at any time. So much love and blessings to you, Pisces. I will leave you here. Again, your angel number is five, six, seven. So right there, you're making progress. Take care, much love, and keep shining.